episode of Grease Garage, we put this SC14 supercharger on this 6G7475 hybrid. On the last episode, I finished leaving the supercharger pulley and test fitting it on the supercharger. But what you didn't see is how I connected this to this. I put both in the drill press, used a 5.5mm drill bit, and I've drilled through the old original one that still had its threads in it. I then tapped the pulley, and then once I've done that, I then drilled out the threads of the original pulley. This way, I can put this onto here and bolt it all together and it works perfectly. Having this mocked up 6G7 engine on the stand is really going to help speed things up. The supercharger is being placed where the factory air pump used to go. Therefore, my first job is to remove the old aircon mount. This whole project is about keeping things to a budget. All the metal that I'm using is from the local scrap metal yard. I started by cutting this metal tube into sections and slapping it in the lathe to draw a hole through the center so they can be bolted to the engine. So we've got a straight edge here and a pin. I've already got one of these pieces of metal that I made up and we're just going to put it against that straight edge and just hold that so it's dead straight. Put it against here and we're just going to mark off the pin. If you just look closely, you can just see it, just right on this little bit of clean metal here. So that's fantastic. So I'll do that, and I'll chop this other one on, and I'll test that one as well. It goes without saying you need to take your time when measuring these mounts. I place the straight edge on the top mounting hole, as the metal plate I will be using will bolt directly to this spot. Once I'm happy that the mounts are marked correctly, I stick them back in the lathe and remove any excess metal. Okay, so we've got this back in the lathe now, and you can see the blue bit of pen right there. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but I can see it clear as day. So what I'm just going to do is start taking off it slowly by slowly, keep checking it, and chuck it back on and start making them out. I'm using a piece of 8mm scrap sheet metal for the face of the mounting bracket. I start by marking out the basic shape with a tri-square and marking pen, and then I get the old 5 inch angle grinder out for some punishment. Okay, now that we're back, I've got the bracket done. As you can see, I had to re-weld a little bit because I cut too much out. This is why it's always a good idea to measure twice, cut once, as they say. Uh, gotta drill this out next, and I'll melt onto the engine with a bolt, and then I'll slide these two other bits in and I'll tack them. And then we'll go from there. So let's get to that. I place the metal plate under the engine's mounting point. I then leave a mark with a marking pen. Once done, I move the metal plate to the side of the same mounting point and then mark again. Once I'm happy, I then use a tri square to find the meeting point and slap it in the drill press. Alright, so I'm just using this spacer because I don't have the bolts that I need yet. This should get us to hold it in position. some old thread to use as a holder for the spacing tubes I made earlier. I screw the old thread into the engine block and then place the mount spacers over top. 
the last thing to do is blow up the metal plate and then tack weld it. So now that I've got this bracket done and it's bolted up, I've had a play with this supercharger and um, the way I want to do it is I was trying to get it up like this. But this was the further sway bracket, but I found that if I turn it this way, it's just gonna give me a lot more room for the belt and I can make a bracket up here. So I've made that bracket. Easy, just a piece of square metal, drilled the center out with it, and then cut it. Gave me these two triangle fittings. I'm going to weld them onto this piece of tube I made and weld them straight into the bracket. I'll mount the top mount, and then I'll do a fine adjustment with the bottom, and we'll find out what distance it has to be and everything like that. So I've made two little markings, and that's about where I want the belt to be. Now, the whole idea with the jack here is to try and get it Roughly in the right spot. Okay, so mm -hmm. if that's good, that'd be awesome. So we just got this in there. We're just going to check it with the straight edge. Okay. So if that was the case, that would be Pretty good there. So let's mark it. So that's the same size as that pulley is there. So I'm pretty happy with that. The magic of video editing makes this look like I got it first go. In fact, it took over an hour. I scratched in three lines on the face of the mounting bracket, a center line and two outer lines the thickness of the mounting tube to keep everything straight. Now that we've got that bracket all tacked up and the supercharger is now on, you can see we have a bit of movement there which is good. So we should want it to sit about there. I've got this off the sump so the sump is actually under here. And uh, so we've got a heaps of clearance there, so that's not going to be hitting on anything. And as you can see, we can lift it up a fair bit to about there. Which I probably want to do because I want to try and get um, at least three inch through here if I can. So I might have to overlay it out a bit. Um, that's later on down the track anyway. So the main thing is, it's on, it fits, got a bit of adjustment there. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is just make sure that it is straight with this. If you have two mates, awesome. So you want to make sure that this is touching both ends and is hard up. I'm going to have to hold it. And then you want to go through here and you want to measure, which I've already done. So the way I've done it is I've put the venues on this side and measured out. Anything like that. Oh, and then you do the same in the end. And obviously what you're looking for is the exact same measurement on both sides. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so this is my bottom bracket. Roughly this shape I'll clean it up a bit. Then I'm going to drill some holes in it just to kind of give it a nicer look. And then yeah, we'll roll up. 
Uh, I don't have to be as accurate with this. Uh, that's the beauty of doing the top bracket. Once the top's done, the bottom's really, really easy. Sorry guys, I didn't end up recording any of me making these little brackets. I mean, it's just metal that I've just used the angle grinder with. It's very straightforward. Um, it's back in the jig now, so pretty much I'll weld this one up, put the supercharger on, sit this roughly where it's meant to be, and weld this on, and then it's ready to go back on the car. I'm probably gonna get this sandblasted and powder coated if I can convince my mate, so. But that's pretty much it, it's, it's really, really basic. Um, we'll move on to uh, welding it all up. to hear the wine from this supercharger when we finally put it in the car in a couple of weeks time. But guys, next episode we'll be doing the valve system and I might even be able to start doing the intercooler piping. I don't know if I'm going to split it up or put it into one. Anyway guys, please subscribe. You guys supporting me means I can keep doing these videos for you which I really want to do because I just love doing them. I have heaps of projects so I'll have heaps of content coming out hopefully weekly, if not fortnightly. So definitely hit me up, definitely subscribe. Please come back next time and yeah, just love you guys and I'll catch you next episode. Cheers.